Here we have a Panasonic 2-axis motion control demo, which I'm going to describe for you. Here is the Panasonic HMI, our touch screen interface. Here are two Panasonic servo amplifiers, and they are connected to two Panasonic servo motors. Here's the first motor, and there's its encoder on the end for feedback. Here is the second servo motor, and there's its encoder and associated feedback cabling. And as you can see, they're coupled to two linear actuators for a nice little XY type configuration, which you're going to see here in just a second in action. But before we do that, let me just remind you that Panasonic is a global leader in servo motor production. Panasonic manufactures over 60,000 servo motors per month. And they also have a wide range of servo motors. They have the 50 watt that we see here for each of these axes up to a 7.5 kilowatt, which is capable of producing about 120 newton meters of torque. So a wide range of servo motors for a wide range of applications out there in the industry. At the heart of our system is the Panasonic FP Sigma PLC. And as you can see, probably the first thing you notice is how small these are. These are about the size of a pack of cigarettes. And we actually have two modules here. There's a motion module on the left we're going to talk about in just a moment. We also have the PLC CPU here on the right. And the nice thing about these, they're expandable to over 300 discrete I.O. points. And there's a variety of expansion modules, such as uh, your traditional analog input and output modules, thermocouple input modules uh, to do temperature control. They can do the uh, PID as well as IPD type of uh, loop control or process control. And they can also output a, a pulse with modulated signal or, or a PWM signal if uh, your control device uh, requires a, a PWM signal for an input. There's also, as we mentioned, a variety of motion modules. The nice thing about the Panasonic Real-Time Express module that you see here for motion control is they do two, four, and eight axis of motion. So we can actually use two of the eight axis modules and have a total of 16 axes on one PLC. This is a two axis module and the, another nice thing about this is they connect to the amplifiers with a standard Cat5 cable which uses an RJ45 type connector. And these are readily available both industrially as well as commercially. Um, and they're very, very inexpensive, which is what's nice. And these runs of cable from node to node to node can be up to 200 feet each. What well, that allows you to do, and they also communicate at 100 megabytes per second. So a very, very fast uh, level of communication to get the data to and from the amplifiers. But it also, by having Cat5 cables, which are inexpensive, it allows you to mount the amplifiers out in the field closer to the motors. That lets you keep the more expensive uh, power cables going to the motor and the feedback cables from the encoders to very, very short lengths. These are much more expensive than the Cat5 cable. So this is a way to dramatically reduce the cost of your system. Now, the Panasonic Real-Time Express module that you see here is capable of doing two-axis and three-axis linear interpolation. It can do two-axis circular as well as three-axis spiral type interpolation. Uh, has your standard type trapezoidal moves for ACK and DEC or acceleration deceleration. They can even do the S-curve type um, acceleration deceleration functions just to smooth out your profile. All right, let's go ahead and demo this system for you so you can see what it's all about. Let's turn it on. And let's go back here and let's put this in manual mode. And you can see we actually have three profiles here, a triangle, an oval, and a, and a rectangle. And uh, let's go ahead and set the speed to 10%. Otherwise, this thing makes a lot of noise, as I'm sure you know most uh, servo motors can do when they're coupled to actuators. Let's enter that and let's turn the servos on. Let's set these profiles for repeat so it does more than one pattern. Let's set it for the oval. I like this because an oval shows you circular interpolation, obviously. And let's home the axis. And let's go ahead and start it. As you can see, we have a nice little oval pattern that we're doing here. And you can also see the uh, motors doing their job here. Now let's stop this axis. And let's go ahead and crank this thing up to 100% so you can see what she's capable of doing. And set it for repeat. Let's 
So again, Panasonic two axis motion control demo with Panasonic touch screen, Panasonic amplifiers, Panasonic servo motors, even has Panasonic Sunks brand sensors on the uh, actuators, and the Panasonic FP Sigma PLC with Panasonic real time express modules to close our position loops. All this brought to you by Barker Air Hydraulics in Greenville, South Carolina.